Despite the countless decades of progress we have made in understanding our universe, there are still several concepts, the answers to which continue to elude even the greatest minds humanity has to offer. Perhaps the most interesting among them are wormholes, portals in the cosmos which in theory may make our greatest dreams of space travel a reality. Imagine a cosmic gate in space passing through which could take us to distant corners of the universe, allowing us to finally explore the outer reaches of the cosmos. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, the fact is, our current understanding of physics says these gates may exist, but where are they hidden? How do wormholes work? And could we one day travel through one? Let's take a closer look. Throughout most of human history, our perception of space was rather straightforward. A vast, flat stage where cosmic events played out. Even if you were to remove other celestial objects like stars and planets, the stage itself, that emptiness, is what we know as space, an unchanging and eternal backdrop. However, Einstein's theory of relativity disrupted this simplicity. It introduced the idea that space and time together compose this cosmic stage and they are not uniform everywhere. Moreover, the entities residing in this stage, such as massive objects, can influence and alter space itself. Instead of a stiff floor, Einstein's depiction of space resembles more of an air mattress, a dynamic and elastic space capable of bending, stretching, and potentially being torn and patched together. This plasticity of space opens up intriguing possibilities, including the theoretical existence of wormholes. Imagine our universe from a 2D perspective, like a vast flat sheet that's curved just right. In this configuration, wormholes could serve as short bridges connecting two extremely distant points allowing nearly instantaneous travel across the cosmos. It's a concept that could potentially enable travel faster than the speed of light. However, the current reality is that we can only find wormholes on paper. The theoretical groundwork for wormholes comes from general relativity, suggesting their potential existence. But just because the equations allow for their possibility doesn't guarantee their actual presence. General relativity is a mathematical framework with various solutions, but not all mathematical outcomes align with the reality we observe. The initial concept of wormholes, known as Einstein-Rosen bridges, offered a unique perspective by suggesting that every black hole could serve as a portal to an infinite parallel universe. To visualize this in 2D, consider empty space-time as flat but curved by the presence of objects. As we compress these objects, space-time becomes increasingly warped. Eventually, the curvature becomes so extreme that it forces space-time to collapse into a black hole. This forms a one-way barrier, the event horizon, allowing entry but preventing anything from escaping. Ultimately trapped at the singularity within. However, an intriguing possibility arises. What if there's no singularity? Instead, the other side of the event horizon resembles our universe, but is mirrored upside down with time running backward. In our universe, matter falls into the black hole. But in the parallel universe, characterized by reversed time, the mirror black hole might be expelling matter, similar to a Big Bang. This intriguing concept is referred to as a white hole. Regrettably, Einstein-Rosen bridges, while fascinating, pose a significant practical challenge. They cannot be traversed in reality. Crossing over to the opposite universe would require an infinite amount of time, and these bridges crimp shut in the middle. Entering a black hole wouldn't lead to emerging from a white hole. Instead, it would result in an irreversible outcome, death. For humans to achieve rapid cosmic travel, a different type of wormhole is needed, a traversable wormhole. 
When considering string theory or its variations, if these frameworks accurately describe our universe, we might find ourselves in a fortunate position. Our universe could potentially harbor a complex network of numerous wormholes already. In the aftermath of the Big Bang, quantum fluctuations operating at scales far smaller than an atom might have generated numerous traversable wormholes. Intertwined within these passages are cosmic strings, thread-like entities. In the incredibly brief period, shortly after the Big Bang, these minuscule wormholes had their ends pulled light years apart, scattering them throughout the vast expanse of the universe. If wormholes were indeed formed in the early universe, whether through cosmic strings or alternative mechanisms, they could be dispersed widely, awaiting discovery. It's conceivable that some might be much closer than we currently realize. From an external perspective, distinguishing between black holes and wormholes can be challenging, as they can exhibit similar characteristics. Some physicists even propose that the supermassive black holes situated at the centers of galaxies might be disguised wormholes. While venturing all the way to the center of the Milky Way for confirmation is a formidable task, an equally challenging alternative exists, attempting to create a wormhole ourselves. But how can we achieve this? For a wormhole to be practical and serve our cosmic travel needs, several essential properties must be present. Firstly, it must establish a connection between distant parts of space-time, much like linking your bedroom to the bathroom or Earth to Jupiter. Secondly, the absence of event horizons is crucial to facilitate two-way travel through the wormhole. Additionally, the wormhole should be of sufficient size to withstand gravitational forces, ensuring the safety of human travelers. However, the primary challenge lies in preventing the wormhole from collapsing. Gravity, regardless of how we create the wormholes, inherently seeks to close them. The gravitational force tends to pinch the wormhole shut, potentially leaving only black holes at the ends. Whether it's a traversable wormhole with both ends within our universe or one leading to another universe, preventing closure requires a supportive element. In the case of ancient string theory, wormholes, cosmic strings fulfill this role. However, for man-made wormholes, a new ingredient is necessary, exotic matter. Exotic matter is distinct from anything found on Earth or even antimatter. It possesses unique and unprecedented properties. The key characteristic is its negative mass. While objects with positive mass, like people, planets, and everything else in the universe are attractive due to gravity. Negative mass would exert a repulsive force, pushing away from the source. This anti-gravity effect is what would keep our wormholes propped open. Notably, exotic matter must exert immense pressure, surpassing even the pressure at the centers of neutron stars to push space-time open and counteract gravitational forces. Exotic matter provides us with the ability to manipulate space-time as needed. One potential candidate for exotic matter is the vacuum of space itself. Constant quantum fluctuations in empty space generate pairs of particles and antiparticles, albeit fleetingly, before annihilation. Harnessing and manipulating these quantum fluctuations could create an effect similar to the negative mass required to stabilize our wormholes. Once stabilized, the challenge remains to strategically position the ends of the wormholes. A network could be established within the solar system, with one end orbiting Earth and others extending into deep space. Earth could serve as a central hub for a vast interstellar human civilization offering the possibility of exploring regions light years away through a single wormhole. However, it's essential to acknowledge the potential dark side of wormholes. The act of opening even a single wormhole has profound implications, disrupting the fundamental structure of the universe. 
it may lead to time travel paradoxes and violate the causal structure of the cosmos. Many scientists argue that these consequences suggest the impossibility of creating wormholes or even their existence. As of now, wormholes exist in our imaginations, in our theoretical equations and on paper. But who knows, maybe traveling through one will one day become a reality. So spacers, what do we think? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Leave us a thumbs up if you liked this video and please comment, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications to stay updated on new and awesome space content. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.